Uh, well, Dr. Ferguson, we would like to thank the University Department of Humanities and Cultural Studies for being a sponsor of the second annual um, Student Film Fair, which takes place um, here in uh, about a month here at USF in the Marshall Center, Saturday, July 26. And what do you think that, uh, why do you think the department wanted to be part of this event that's taking place um, on, in July? The great thing about, the great thing about this new program in the official name is um, Film and New Media Studies. So traditional film and film studies, but also um, television and all kinds of electric, electronic media, the internet, et cetera, et cetera. Um, what's great about this program is what we're doing is we are providing a center and a home for a whole lot of, I would say, humanistic study of film and media and new media. Um, that it hasn't quite had at USF. So there's people who teach film and media courses in the history department, in the philosophy department, in the world languages departments, in our own department. And what we're trying to do is um, bring a, a new center of gravity to all these disparate classes and also give um, a more solid uh, education and give people an opportunity to specialize in film and media and ra rather than have it be uh, something that they do as an elective or kind of on the side. And we do it from a, a particular point of view. So instead of the point of view of mass communications, which might be more interested in questions of broadcast or social scientific questions very often, um, we're very often thinking about um, the way that film forms and media forms make meaning in their particularity. And by, by that I mean um, aesthetic particularity. By, mean, by that I mean the very forms that, um, uh, that these media are taking, whether it's the forms of lighting or the forms of camera movement or the forms of digital animation or digital graphics or the forms of uh, you know, new 3D technologies. What do these forms mean and what do they mean socially? And what do they mean psychologically in very specific social and historical contexts? So that's, that's what we're doing. And with this degree, what kind of a job do you think a student can actually get if they were going into the, the labor force with a, with a degree in film and new media studies? Any number of jobs. I mean, there are jobs that are in what you might call the old traditional um, Hollywood media and its extension. So whether that's like blockbuster movies like the Pirates of the Caribbean that shoot in this area or it's homegrown productions. Um, so anywhere from, you know, um, production jobs uh, to, you know, working on a, a studio, um, a studio lot, um, which there are a lot in the central Florida area uh, and beyond. Um, there's also um, other elements of the business, right? There, there's talent, right? We don't teach acting, but there's management, and there's you know, you know, there's a whole division of the Screen Actors Guild in, in Florida. Um, there's a, you know, you can be an agent or work under an agent. Um, there's also all kinds of post-production, whether it's editing or digital effects or you name it, right? There's a whole lot. And then from there, if you go to new media, there are all kinds of uh, exciting startup companies all across Florida, and especially in the central Florida region where you have people doing video games and all kinds of digital graphics and also social media, right? And this is where, you know, a program like ours although it's not technically oriented, right? We're not teaching you how to use the tools. We're teaching you, we're trying to give you a way of understanding the social and historical um, and artistic significance of the variety of tools and the way that they've been used and changed over time. Um, what we're trying to do is also um, produce or help to generate um, savvy um, media users and makers um, that can also go into fields that are not necessarily uh, traditionally thought of as being, um, you know, like the old school field of filmmaking. So, you know, all kinds of companies are, are hiring social media people, right, where they are, design, they are hired to design a Facebook page and do all kinds of media outreach and be really creative 
um, with text and image and moving image and audio. Um, yeah, even the advertising agency, advertising world is moving more into new media. And yeah, new art and more right. And more. So I think of our program as being um, a, a place to really, really think and meditate in a critical and creative and imaginative way about what what it means to to make meaning in, in uh, motion picture form, but a multimedia form. I mean, you know, movies were multimedia from the beginning. It wasn't just paint on a canvas. Not that painting isn't wonderful, but it was always sound and image. Mm -hmm. Even if during the silent era, sound was produced live instead of attached to the film strip. But that's another story. <laughs>